Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel, Serendipity by Melanie. I'm going to start shelf number five in my storage unit. And uh, just a miscellaneous of jewelry and crafting stuff. So this video will just be jewelry by the time, I'm just looking at the boxes beside me, by the time I get through these ones. But I just wanted to show you what I have in my storage unit and um, just different kind of earrings. These are pierced earrings. And I'm doing um, a $20 lot for jewelry. Oh, there's a fluff on there. These are smaller. See the difference in size. So pinks, blues. I have a gray pair, green pair. So with the $20 lots plus the shipping, I will put in uh, three to five items from my jewelry. And these are brand new, never worn. Oops, a little kink there. And they've been in storage for a while. These are new old stock. How is everybody today? Good? Things are good here. You'll hear people with the chainsaws. Um, the construction is still going on down the road for the cabin. You'll hear um, a big truck going by. <laughs> I think he's doing um, some gravel. So these are another pair of the earrings. These ones are all going to be pierced in this group. And if there's something that you like, just let me know. I can add it to a mystery box or I can um, just send that one along. Just grabbing a couple. Here's a nice pink pair. That new lighting I have seems to work a lot better. I like it. It seems that I can show the item better. And <laughs> these are these are just retro, like they're kind of cute. And then I have a um, what would you call it? Purple, like a deep purple, glittery type. And then I have a pink pair. Aren't these cool? I like them. I don't wear a lot of jewelry anymore. Um, I'll just get rid of that piece of paper. Although I do have plenty. <laughs> I like the colors of these ones. Consider them uh, a pink but close to coral. They're very nice. So I'm kind of just catching up here. I'm going to have, um, this video won't be up in time, but Thursday is my bring back the brooches. So in the mystery boxes, I'm not including brooches because I am just doing uh, brooch sales. And um, so that's going to be this Thursday and we'll see how that goes because I have just over an hour. These are like a ceramic, aren't they pretty? <clears throat> just over an hour for my brooch sale and um, I'm figuring that Thursday evenings uh, 10 p.m. Uh, Eastern time I'm going to be doing um, just group together something like brooches or jewelry sale or um, just vases or ephemera just do same likeness for an hour and just blitz, right? I have so much to go through and... Hmm. <laughs> well, I guess they're all just different colors. I have some in amber and um, these ones are in clear rhinestone. The base of these are shells, but as you can tell by the type of jewelry it is, you can remove the shells and put something else that entices you to, and it's just a quick change out. So there's that one box, and like I say, the boxes are not very big, but they do hold a lot of items, and uh, hmm, I'll just put that down there. 
dust. So these are more expensive, but they have been worn. I don't know about, um, I did buy them on eBay. This is a boho lot. Like I just picked up a, a auction lot. <coughs> Pardon me. <coughs> I used some spray mousse in my hair for the first time and it's just kind of gagging me. So this is quite long and I'm just trying to twist it and then you can just double loop. And then there's a gold color, gold tone I guess the word would be. Just, um, here we go. Oops. Sorry. So this is the way it would hang, and then it has this bar clasp with the rubies on the end of it. And it just toggles. And then you just... So there's that one. And like I say, this is just a boho lot that I bought. And if you're interested in a boho lot for the mystery boxes, that's fine. So this is a bracelet with black and silver tone. These are cool to the touch, so they might be, you know, a little key, a little house. There's a cell phone <laughs> and a car. So just a bracelet. Um, there's another bracelet with the toggle. Multicolor. And some browns. Not pretty. I like the beads on it, and it has the toggle also. I'm not sure if that's the name of that clasp or not. Just, I have some seed beads here, so I'm just flipping that out of the way. I tell you, it takes a village to run my world here. So these are just sharp colors, um, wooden pieces. I'm not sure if they're wooden or clay, but you can hear them. So I would imagine they're more on the clay side, but aren't these bright and vibrant? Pretty cool. <clears throat> so just a little tangle again. I had taken the paper out before the video because I have these wrapped in tissue. And uh, so now, just moving the box once, now I have a bit of a tangle here. But this is a long seed bead, just small beads, multicolor, blues and orange and yellow and white. So that's a seed bead, it is a longer one. This one's quite long, so I would imagine you would group it at least three Just nice colors. I don't display things very nicely. I do have this. Looks a little better on it. And like I say, it's quite long. So these are cool to the touch, whether they're glass. I would imagine glass more than stone because they're all pretty symmetrical. Oops, too close. Sorry about that. And I don't know if this works, if it just needs a battery, but it's a watch. It's a Chico's watch. Just a clamp. I haven't tested anything. Look at the... <laughs> so boho. Eh? So these are acrylic. And I would imagine the rest of the beads are as well. And then I have a brooch, just acrylic. Just a gold tone wire wrap, lightweight. And I like the colors in this one. And then at the bottom of the box is something. Not sure what it is, but it's just a little something. 
So I'll wrap these up after. The less noise I make, I think the better, right? <laughs> Here's another one. These are more on the precious metal side. I don't have a lot of precious metals, but I do have some. And I wouldn't know what to tell you they are. This is just a bracelet. It's probably just a group of sterling silver and... Um, I wouldn't know. It just says precious metals, right? Mm -hmm. So this is very pretty, delicate. I like this. And it's a shorter one. So on these it says moss agate on them. So that would be the stone. And I'm not sure what kind of stone this is. It's just a really small bracelet. You'd need a small wrist for that. <clears throat> Pardon me. This is probably just um, two-tone, like gold and silver, but I haven't checked anything. There's a marking on it, but I can't see it, right? So here's a, a brooch. It's, just, it's a fish. <laughs> That's kind of funny. A pair of earrings. Natural stone jewelry. And another pair of earrings. There are two. I'm not sure why these are in the precious, but it would be because of the silver. Red and green for Christmas. This is another bracelet. Here's a ring. I'm not sure. It's probably about a seven. It's just a plain band. And I wouldn't know what the metals are. These are very cool to the touch. And they're a silver tone. So maybe the <clears throat> post on the <clears throat> post on the earring might be the silver. These are stones. More boho look. And these are I would imagine it's the earring post that's the silver. I haven't checked into any of it. I've just um left it in a box labeled um eBay precious so that I don't mix them up with other things. And right now I don't really have, this is a 12 inch um, chain. It looks a bit tarnished, but it must be, you know, silver or whatever. <clears throat> There's a note in here. It's probably my receipt. Sterling silver 925 costume mixed 103 grams Mexican African Safari Boho. So that's what this lot is called. And then these are clip-ons. Look at the stones in the center of these. Wow, those are pretty. I don't even remember some of these things. It's been so long since I bought them. And here's some black tone the post must be silver. And some red ones and white ones. So there's two of them, of course. Pierced earring. Nice drop. And just a few more pieces. This is like a stone and there's a pair of them. And yeah, just a few more odds and ends in the bottom there. Since I don't know very much about it, I feel awkward. It's very easy just to say, oh, these are just costume jewelry, as I mistakenly call it cosmetic jewelry, quite, quite often. And so, but it's so funny. I just, I say it and then I think, oh, I should have let them know I didn't uh, mean it. 
So these are just uh, earrings that were just handcrafted. I'm just looking at them. They're clip-ons, so I wanted to put them up the right way. So just a bit of ribbon and a bead on them. They're like a, a felt. Here's another brooch. Nice colors. Bright pop there. Here's a pair of earrings. They're on like a light metal, but they're in yellow. Oops, going the wrong way. I like these. They remind me of um, like the tin on the vintage, vintage tin. I have quite a bit, bit of vintage tin, but uh, I was going to put it behind my wood stove in my house and just never got around to it. I love this cool to the touch so they might be stones but isn't that pretty I really really like this one so that didn't have a whole lot in that one <clears throat> so these are um, maybe I'll take them out of the package sorry what is the word I'm looking for they're not copper, they are, um, they're a metal, but they're not silver, they're the brown tone metals. And I, I know that, um, in one of my first videos when I was practicing doing lives, I did an unboxing of some of these pieces here. It was like $8 Canadian, $6.25 for U.S., so some of you have seen these. So this is a necklace. This is brand new, never worn. And I do have the earrings that go with it. And I was just unclipping them because they were clipped together. So just a pair of navy blue drop earrings that go with this. And <clears throat> pardon me, maybe I should show you. So there are navy blue beads along the chain there. Navy blue is another mystery color to me because you buy something navy blue and you think that you can get like a shirt to match your pants or and it just never seems to match. So here's another navy blue one <clears throat> and I'm just opening this one. It's still in the tissue. And I might need my scissors. Where'd my scissors go? There they are. So yes, making it to the fifth shelf. The last shelf was mixture of jewelry and big uh, beads, lightweight. <clears throat> jewelry and craft. And here's a few hair picks just in the bag there, the plastic ones that you put in your hair. I like this one, copper tone, black and gray. It's just a shorter necklace. These are nice bright colors. So beachy. I like it. I like it. These are black and clear um, they are crystal, like, um, not real stone or anything. They're just, um, like a plastic, but better quality. <clears throat> so those are chunky. These are, um, they are quite an age. It's not everything is brand new, although it's new old stock. This reminds me of a gourd out of the garden. Just such nice, like the white with a few mint green beads in there. And then, of course, this is a ceramic one. Very pretty. Here's a blue and gold and pink bracelet. Uh, I'm not sure the material, maybe a wood bright color again. 
nice summer pop of color. And here I go again, a twist. <clears throat> I see what the problem is. <laughs> I thought it was caught on something, but the something belongs to this necklace. So it's just the, some blacks. And then at the bottom is the cross. And I thought it was stuck on something here, but it wasn't. It's just hanging the cross on it. That's the back. There's the front. And some of these earrings, the pierced earrings in the silver, gunmetal silver. The chain doesn't mean too much, but this is something I would um, hang on my curtains. Just a really nice piece of metal, like tin kind of, and just the colors on it. It is quite a size. It's probably two and a half inch diameter. And then another peach bauble bracelet. Nice peachy. Oops. Boy, oh boy. Five minutes out of the wrap and I have twists. And so here is like a navy blue. So this is a good nautical piece, you know, the stripes and the gray. A shorter necklace. And this is just um, baubles. They feel cool to the touch, so glass or metal. Short. And I have this short one as well in just nice teal black, green, blue, very pretty. And some more greens and browns, teal color. I have it twisted, but it is a double strand. The upper strand is twisted up inside my hand here. So just a little untangling. <clears throat> There's another box. Here we go. How's the time? Oh, I have time for one more. Oh, beads. I'll take that out. Um, these have a few pairs of earrings in them, but mostly just beads. The pink faux pearls, blue, white, gold ones. Just a mix mouse for my mixed media crafting. Just taking these packages out. This is a cabochon. It's quite a large one, probably two inches. But I love the colors on that. And just some pieces of craft jewelry. This looks like it could be a, a pendant. I like the colors in it. This is just a small piece of metal pendant. Very thin metal. Maybe it was to an earring. I'm not sure. And a feather. And a heart. This is the bronze color. That's the word I was looking for earlier. And then just a little bag of mix match jewelry, probably just pieces. And I just buy them by the lot because I use a lot of it and uh, just pieces, make bookmarks and stuff. So here's some beads that I also purchased. And this looks like... Um, Pearls ready to be hung. Some white blocks. They already have the holes in them ready to be hung. 
these are like a red just a smaller bead and these are the alphabet I'll show you the other side maybe some more letters are there so that's a full alphabet set and just a few more beads browns and these ones are like the opalescent um, rainbow these are nice beads good quality just a little mixture package I have lots to share you guys if you're needing any wanting any these are the blues and they're stone like they're cool to the touch blues and browns and blacks and then in this just at the bottom just a few more beads And then one more package to this box. Oh, two more. Just a little mixture. Some feathers in there. More beads. And this bag. This bag. These are just... I would use them on bookmarks. The bigger bookmarks. And this one just has the bumps on it. I love it. Those ones. They're kind of up my alley. You guys are getting to know me well. Enough that you know purple's my thing. Here's a brooch that's missing a few stones, so I would definitely use that on one of my tins. And just a mixed match of, you know, a little bag of jewelry. So there's that box. <clears throat> oh, I have enough time to do another box. This one is heavy, but there's... Um, just two different items in here. One item in uh, gold tone and silver tone. So I paid probably, uh, you know, 30 cents a piece for these. I'll just cut an end off. But I have lots. And they're just little crowns with the ends on them. This is the silver one, and I have them in the gold tone as well. But like I say, 30 cents each. Um, if you're wanting any, send me an email. I probably have a couple hundred. So, like I say, I buy in bulk. And these are the gold ones. So they're all in the video for this one today. And then I will pack up and um, put everything in the tissue again keep it from tangling and i will get back to you on the next one i see beads and tins and earrings and uh oh some christmas these bulbs i really like so i'll see you on the next one thanks for spending time with me everybody bye